I'm gearing up now for the next music festival, and I had a lot of requests asking me to show in more detail the gear that I bring. Check it out. This is my bag. This is a 1983 US Alice Pack Large LC1. In my opinion, the best bag ever made. See, I just run a carabiner here with my gloves attached. Up top here, another carabiner with my Gorilla Tape. Up top on the large Alice Pack, you have these three pockets. One thing to know is that they have pass-throughs here, okay? So if you stick something in there small, you're gonna lose it, be careful. One mod I've seen on these pockets up top is cutting the seam here, making it one large pocket. I like them as three individuals. On the bottom, you have one large pocket. Now, a lot of people will mod these out. I love the original stuff, the original hardware. You can mod these out if you want, but I like it all original. Large, it's got a nice drain hole here in the bottom. Great pocket. On either side of the large, you have a, two more pockets. Up top on the lid, you can see this one's pretty rare, actually. This is all original. And this is in good shape. So they usually end up looking like this. The lid just has a small Velcro opening, and I can load lots of lightweight stuff up top. Now this bag is huge, this is the large. Here we have a pouch that's built in the top. This is for the old radio, I believe. And plenty of room. Moving to the back, you can see this is a paracord handle that I weaved. Makes it real easy to uh, move this around. The frame is original, the straps are original, and I'm lucky to have both quick release straps so you can pop this pack off in an emergency, drop it, get away quick. The waist belt is original, you can see some original repairs there. This looks a little newer to me. What I do is I just wrap this waist belt around the inside of the frame. I don't want to be attached to this bag. On the sides, we've got these attachment points all the way down. And then on the bottom, two more. I've just rigged up some cordage using Canadian jam knots. This is where I store my sleep system, the mat. On this side, I've got some clips. Got a little grenade pouch. These are great. You can store tons of stuff in them. Don't love the camo, but hey, it was a dollar. One of the ultimate features about using a frame bag is that this stays off your back. So if you've ever been in heat, you know what it's like to have something resting on your back. That's bad. This has plenty of airflow that's circulating here. Great, great feature. Now the Alice pack is heavy. I'm coming in at seven pounds about, and that's all original minus the paracord handle and a couple carabiners. Seven pounds. First thing we're gonna do is line this Alice pack with a three mil drum liner. I don't care if they tell me that it's not gonna rain for the next hundred years, always, Insert a drum liner or a dry bag inside of your bag. This is my warm weather sleep system. We're in a very permissive environment. So I will be in a patrol bag, a jungle bag, MSS system. Sleep on, I will have my thermo rest. Don't use blow ups, they'll pop on you. My pillow will be my multi-cam field top. I've got a nice warm cap at night. Got a pair of 100% wool socks for night. I've got these 32 warm, 32 heat long johns. I've got a snug pack, special fivvy, special forces bivvy. Beautiful little piece of kit. Of course, I've got my wooby. And if you see on my woobies, what I do is I sew in a zipper. That way I can wear this as a garment, okay? Underneath my rain poncho. And up here I have a poncho. This is by Frog Tog. It's super lightweight. Just in case we get some rain, I'd be protected here by the bivy, but this can give me a little extra shelter. I normally run the USGI, but that is being loaned to somebody else who is currently on a different assignment. Here I have my headlamp, in case I need to get up and go pee in the middle of the night. I keep this strapped around my arm inside the bag. Bug net, very important. You do not want to get munchified by the mosquitoes. This is my dry bag. Inside here I have an extra t-shirt, spare pair of underwear, wool socks, half sea summer socks, extra bug net. And don't forget if you want to be in the cool kids club, this dry bag must be fluorescent green. Adam, Spirit of Systems. And the last part of my sleep system is my outdoor research synthetic puffy. I will push down, try and get all the air out of this bag. 
and I will roll it over on itself. Now that doesn't make it totally waterproof at this point, but it's water resistant, good enough for now. On the bottom of the Alice pack, I'll attach my thermo rest using two Canadian jam knots. I wanted to talk to you about subscriptions. Now, if you dig my content, you want to see more of it, you subscribing, sharing, liking, whatever it is you do on YouTube helps out the channel, helps me out. So I appreciate it. Communications, I've got my headlamp, I've got binoculars, got my notepad, compass, signal mirror, pace beads. This is a little mini ferrocerium rod. This is an adapter. You can plug this right into a light bulb circuit. Communications, I've got my binoculars, got my notepad, got my pace beads, compass, signal mirror, cam lights, ferrocerium rod. This is an old style plug. You can use this on old light bulbs. Carson night vision, emergency whistle. I use this to light things up when I'm filming at night. Got my night core straight to strobe, flashlight. This is anti-fog. These are my hair earpieces that I'm gonna use with their Baofeng system. Got a multi-dongle for charging things. And this is a battery bank. These are actually jump starters, but they're huge. Get tons of charges. I think I can recharge my iPhone like 15 times or something. These are great. Signal panel. I call this the VF-16. And this actually comes in real handy when medical's coming in and you're in a crowd of, you know, 5,000 people. Well, you hold this up and they can find you real quick. And then I'll have Ziploc bags that a lot of this stuff lives in. More communications. This is the Phoenix Junior IR strobe. This would be used for guiding in helicopter, medical emergencies. This is a traditional strobe. Same thing, guiding in emergency services. Here I've got a Garmin GPS, uh, the night core with two extra batteries and the charger. Weapon system, I'll be running a Glock 19, two magazines, two chocolate bars, my night core with straight strobe, and I've got a more on me as a knife. Tools are pretty basic. Here I've just got some small paracord, got my Leatherman rebar, some zip ties, some scissors, uh, Mora. I'll have three Bic lighters on me, Gorilla tape, a nice big fat nail, and some extra carabiners. Medical will have full paramedics on site 24 hours, seven days a week. On me, I'll have two tourniquets on my body, one in my kit. I'll have Ambisol, always really important. If something happens to your teeth out there, you're gonna be hurting. Always keep something like Ambisol or Oragel, wet wipes, latex gloves. I don't wanna get people's bodily fluids on my skin. Bug spray, hand warmer, and an assortment of toothbrush, dental floss, NyQuil, super glue, etc., etc. Water systems. Now, normally I've always used my Grail. I was just sent this by Sawyer. It's a new product they have. It's just a simple dip and go. So I'm gonna try this. I'm really excited. It's super lightweight. So we'll see how it does. I'll be using a mini drone. That's for surveillance, gathering intel. Food, basically just junk food. I'll have little snacks on me, peanut butter. There'll be craft services set up so we'll be able to eat during our breaks. That's a quick rundown of the gear I'll be taking to this festival. It's gonna be a five day gig for me working armed security. Festival is a three day event. It's a Burning Man training festival and it's held at a little lake. So you mix people, drugs and water. Watch out, hang tough.